Hello and welcome to 2 Minutes of Go. Today we will be covering functions. To create a function, we start with the keyword func, F-U-N-C, and then you put the name of the function you want to create, and then in round brackets you put the list of variables that you're going to take as input into the function, assuming you have any. For each input variable you're going to put down a name for it, and you're going to put down the variable type, and then we're going to execute whatever code it is that we want to execute with the input variables that we've given. Now if we want to be able to return values out of our function we're going to have to add a little bit to what we just had in the last slide. Namely, in the space between the input variable section and the parentheses we're going to have a return variable section and in the section all we're going to put is the variable types that we want to return in the order that they're going to be returned. Along with that, if you are returning variables, you're going to have to put a return statement into your function to actually do the returning. If you don't have a return statement, your function will throw an error. In the return statement itself, all you're doing is putting the information corresponding to the data you're returning. So in this case, the bottom line, we're returning the name put into title case, and then we're returning the length of the name, which is an integer. Finally, to call the function that we just created, all you have to do is specify which variables are going to re receive the return information that's being sent back from the function. If you don't actually care about a piece of information that's being returned, instead of putting it into a variable, you can assign it to underscore, which is sort of treated like the trash can in Go as you can see in the second line where the size information we're just sending to underscore so we're never going to see that again. Finally if you don't want to receive any of the information you can just put the function in without any return variables as you see in the last line and then it's as if every variable were set to underscore. Thank you for watching please like favorite and subscribe we'll see you again soon.